Missionary, and I am the page chef of Sobeys, so we come inside and table one, table 301 catering. Today I will be making a banana cream pie. As you may or may not know, Saturday, March 2nd, is National Banana Cream Pie Day. So here we go. First you want to start with four ounces of a white chocolate banana cream pastry. You're going to do that in the bowl first. And you also want to add a quarter cup of granulated sugar. Sprinkle that over. Put it in a five quart mixing bowl if you have one. If you do not, a handheld mixer with a whip attachment will work just fine. You're going to want to put this on the mixer. And you want just to get it together so it's all combined. When it's all combined, you are going to add, start adding your heavy cream. Always turn your mixer off before you add your cream so you don't make a mess. And just let her go. She'll let you know when she's ready. While that's mixing, you're going to want to start cutting your bananas. For each banana cream pie that we make, we use six to eight bananas, depending on the size. The riper, the better, as they have more flavor. So far to date, since we've opened at Sobeys, we've made over 18,000 banana cream pies, which is very exciting. My favorite part of the day. If you look at this banana, there's a little brown spot. So that's why I say six to eight, depending on the size. And if you have some that are bruised, you can just cut it off and still use the majority of the banana. Paring knife is what I recommend using because the bananas are small use a larger knife, you're more prone to cut yourself than if you just use something small like a paring knife. Turn the edges off and just slice away. About this thick. You can do thicker if you like them thicker. I like them thinner, a little bit thinner so you get more banana in each slice. Sobeys is located, we are located in downtown Greenville, South Carolina. We just celebrated our 15 year anniversary and we plan to be here for many more years to come. So please come join us, come visit us, come check us out. We have Sunday brunch from 10.30 to 1.30 and we've been doing about 300, 375 covers a week for that. So we stay busy. Sobeys on the side is also located in Greenville, South Carolina, right down the street from Sobeys. They are open for breakfast and for lunch. So slice the bananas, just put them in the bowl. And when the custard's ready, we're going to fold the bananas by hand with the custard and layer it into the tart. When you're cutting bananas, you always want to use a cutting board so you don't cut yourself. And when you use a cutting board, you always want to put a wet towel underneath it to prevent it from slipping. Again, you can always cut yourself if you don't have the stability of a cutting board on the table that you're working with. Let's look at the cream. She's almost there. is done. When you lift up your whisk, you want it to have little peaks. You don't want it too soft because it won't set up properly. Because I am no longer going to be baking this pie, it's always good to use gloves when you're using
when you're making food that's ready to eat. All right, so your custard is gonna go into the bowl with the bananas. Very gently, you just wanna fold. And to fold, you can get your hand, put your fingers together and just over and under, over and under until it's fully incorporated. You don't want to press too hard because you will squish the bananas. So this is what you want it to look like. Our next step is pouring it into the tart shell. We bake our tart shell, so if you can only imagine, that's 18,000 tart shells we've had to bake in 15 years. I have the recipes memorized from doing it, and I've only been here since August. And then you want to get an offset. An offset is a spatula that we use in the pastry world that is raised on the side so it's easier to use when icing cakes or banana cream pies for this example. And you just want to work your custard into the tart shell, bringing it to the edge, leaving it flush with the edge, and keeping the middle a little rounded. So it looks like a dome. And voila. But we're not done yet. We add white chocolate shavings to this delicious banana cream pie. Again, more gloves. A glove no love. <laughs> And here are white chocolate shavings, and we want to just do it to cover the, the pie. It doesn't have to be in any kind of design. Just want to make it so that you can't see the custard from looking at the pie. To make white chocolate shavings, you can buy a block of white chocolate from the grocery store and get a peeler and just thinly peel the chocolate off of the block to make little strips. Sobe's banana cream pie, but wait, we're not done yet. Cocoa powder. Unsweetened cocoa powder. The darker the better. You want to test or shake it first to make sure it's coming out evenly, and you want to just lightly dust the top of this. You don't want to do too much, you don't want to take away from the flavor. This kind of cocoa is very bitter, it's 100% cocoa, so there's no sugar, no cocoa butter, it's 100% cocoa. Then we also add powdered sugar. So again, you should always test your duster, and then you just want to lightly dust over that. If you want to do your powdered sugar first and then your cocoa powder, you can do that as well. If you want to omit both of them, you can do that as well. And there you have it, folks. Sobeys white chocolate banana cream pie. Stop by Sobeys and try one today.